Hi, YouTube. Um, I just put my hair down. Uh, I had them in mini twists or regular twists. They weren't that small, but I had them up for maybe about three and a half weeks and I took them down and then I completely lost my mind. I decided that I was going to do mini braids on my natural hair. And I looked at a video by Pretty Dimples and she had did a mini braids last year. It was 2012 and they were tiny. And I thought, oh, let me do that. Okay, that was crazy because she also complained about taking them down on two or three videos later. So I know that it's going to be bad when I'm taking it down, but I'm going to try to keep them in as long as I can, maybe the rest of the summer. That'll be about two months. And do you see how tiny they are? I love them. So it's taken me already about 12 hours. And so I'm going to show you what I did. I washed my hair, conditioned it, put coconut oil as a leave-in. And I also mixed some Diva conditioner. This is my daughter's. And there was a little bit in it. And so I put water in it, put it in this bottle. And that's how I wet my hair. And I have this much left so to do. So what I do is I spray it, get it damp. And the oil that I use at night, I put some in my hair, especially the ends. Okay, and then as I part it, see how tiny? <laughs> as I part it, I put my shea butter on it. So um, right now, I I think I'm going to leave this part here, and I want it to come down like a curve, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to part it. So. I think I'll do it this way. And, so, and you see where the hair is really white. It's it almost seems like there's no hair there. Like a ball spot, but it's not. What I do, and see like in the back, I didn't really part it. I just took my fingers and just did it that way. But when I got in the front, I made sure the parts are straight in case I want to wear it back or something. I wear it in the style in the front. So what I do now, um, I remember she said that she had to stand up the whole time. Well, I'm not going to stand up the whole time. So this is how I do it. I part it. Okay. And then I I put this stuff on it. My shea butter. Especially in the front. I have to use a lot. And then I twist it, not twist it, I'm sorry, braid it, which is really tiny, and never borrow from the other side or another piece because that'll even make it harder to take down. So what I do, I start braiding it, and I don't braid it all the way down. On each section, I kind of braid it right there and then leave it and then I do that again all the way across 
And since I'm not going to stand on my feet the whole time, I braid as many as I can, and then I go and sit down, and I finish the rest. Because I'm not going to stand on my feet the whole time. My feet start getting numb. So, poor circulation, I guess. Or I just get tired. So, later, I can go sit down, look at TV, or do something sitting down. Guys, I am finished. Finally, I guess. It took a total of maybe 15 hours. Not Anyway, I do like it. So, what I'm going to do for the ends, I have cold aloe vera gel. I'm going to dip my hair and my ends in the... Okay. Ooh, it's cold. Make sure it's all. Then I'll probably put it on. I can do this because it's really hot today. Kind of covered. Well, first I'll put the um, shea butter on there. But I don't like how frizzy the ends are, so now I'm going to put the gel on the tips. And I'm using the xanthum gel that I made, and it's not going to dry hard, but I shouldn't have any frizz. Maybe I should put some more shade on it to make sure I can lay it down. Okay. I think the ends are kind of curly. Can you tell? I think I just as use one of these. And just put that over my head. Ouch. And see that comes down far in the back. It'll flatten it out. And I'm going to go out in the sun for maybe a few minutes. Um, it's about 100. So I'll go out and maybe dry the ends. Because aloe vera juice seems to dry fast. So off and this is the results I still keep thinking about the day that I need to take them down and the ends are not frizzy anymore this is how it looks in the back I don't like it too flat to my head, but when I get some new growth, oops, I think that piece is supposed to go straight. So, what do you guys think? And I know you're going to need to pray for me when it comes down to taking them down, <laughs> but I am going to keep it up for the summer and. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe if I keep it really moisturized, um, when I take it down, I won't lose so much hair. So, so this is the result. And I got to do something about this piece right here because I have it going this way and it needs to go back that way. But, there you go. Alright, I will see you later. Bye.